So as you can see, I just got a new tree in my space and I'm super, super excited about this one because this is actually a plant that I've been wanting ever since I moved into this apartment. I think because of how tall these ceilings are, I've always wanted a tree to sort of fill up the vertical space a little bit more. But I did a lot of research and it's honestly really difficult to find trees that survive well indoors and also sort of look like this. I wasn't a big fan of fiddly fig plants or ficus plants, which are two other options that I could have gone with. If you don't know what tree this is, this is called a black olive tree, or I think it's also nicknamed a shady lady tree. It feels like very weird or surreal to even have this in my space right now because the only times that I've honestly ever seen this plant inside someone's home are either on interior design magazines or on Architectural Digest home tours with celebrities. It was very difficult to find. I finally found one actually locally in San Francisco off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. I feel like compared to the Bird of Paradise, which it replaced, it just feels a lot more, I don't know, like zen or like very sculptural almost. I'm kind of going for a Japanese or like Scandinavian design palette with my living room and I feel like this just matches that with its sort of very straight structure and the branches and then these sort of small little leaves. This pot setup right here is temporary for now. I literally just got this old blanket basket that I wasn't using and then lined the bottom of it with some plastic and then put the grow pot directly into that. But overall, I'm just really excited to have this in my space. I think it adds so much character and and I'm just honestly excited to see how it continues to grow here. I have no idea why this box is so hard to open. Ooh, okay, this might actually be too big. So I decided to get this pot in a 16.5 inch size, which is the biggest pot that I've ever seen for sure. The plant I think is 14 inches across and 14 inches tall. So this is definitely like bigger than I need. I was thinking ahead because I'm planning on having this tree for a while. So I'm assuming it's gonna grow bigger and eventually it's gonna need a bigger pot. Hopefully kind of future proofing with this big one right here. And I finally don't have to use that basket <laughs> that the plant is stuck in right now. So let's see how it looks. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. I think I'm just gonna place it directly inside of here and try not to crush my fingers. Now I just gotta move it into place. Ooh, okay. That's what it looks like for now. I got this big one from Canso Designs. I have a few other pots throughout the rest of my home and I've always been pretty happy with them, so I got this one from them. Hey, bro, did you just eat something? Sorry, my cat. Just ate a random thing on the floor, that happens. I also do really like how it has a saucer on the bottom. The lady that I did buy this plant from did tell me that especially in the summertime, it's very important to keep it pretty well watered. But then obviously anytime you're watering a plant pretty frequently, you develop the potential risk of having root rot. And so finding a pot with a saucer like this was pretty important. So that way the water can drain through and not get stuck at the bottom and sort of cause issues with the plant. <laughs> So it is currently 
4 p.m. and I'm not gonna lie I've sort of just been decomposing on this couch for the last few hours I was kind of productive this morning and then I ate lunch and just got super tired and as you can see it is pretty gloomy and cloudy out today so I feel like the weather is not really contributing to my lack of productivity. I feel like whenever I feel super unproductive or I'm procrastinating like this I end up just feeling disappointed about myself at the end of the day. So I'm going to try to break out of that right now with pure willpower to have a good rest of my day. I'm going to force myself to clean my apartment because I haven't done a weekly apartment clean yet and it's definitely looking a little bit messy around here. And then I think I'm probably going to force myself to go to the gym afterwards just to get my blood pumping and yeah, I don't know. At least set myself up for a relatively more productive night. Let's do it. Now very sweaty which is perfect because I'm about to go to the gym now. Apartment clean done, time to get the blood pumping and hit some, I think I'm gonna do arms and shoulders today. So tonight is a very special night because me and my housemate are going to a restaurant called Omakase, which is a Michelin star sushi restaurant in San Francisco. We've actually been wanting to go here for like a year and a half, or at least ever since we moved into this apartment. We actually promised each other that we'd use our first paycheck at our jobs to splurge and go to this restaurant because it is very expensive. I kind of forget what happened, but I think basically we got our first paychecks and then realized it wasn't that much money after taxes. And then we paid our rent and we were like, damn, we have like no money left. So then... <laughs> We ended up just never going, but it's been a while since then and my roommate and I are actually not going to be living together next year And so we wanted to kind of revisit that initial dream We had of going to this restaurant and sort of celebrate the time that we had together And so yeah, we're super excited and I'm gonna put together a little fit so that we can go hit the restaurant Starting with these jeans from Levi's that I've talked about before These have been some of my absolute favorites just because I love how they fit got my trusty Uniqlo U t-shirt <laughs> Which is my favorite t-shirt 
And then I'm gonna be wearing a cardigan, so I'll probably do a little tuck. Last piece is this cardigan from Uniqlo. This is a cardigan from the women's section. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire fit. Pretty casual, pretty chill. Dressed up a little bit more than my usual hoodie and sweatpants. And our reservation is very soon, so I'm gonna grab the camera and head out. Thank you.